Hi, this is Mike Hadsight, and we're going to look at section views today. And if you've read the tutorial, you should be pretty familiar with it. If not, check out mycadsite.com, tutorial 1-13, and we'll explain things a little further. So, section views, as you know, are used to show something in a cross section. And what I have is this part here, and this is the piece that's just got two holes drilled through these arms and then a shaft going out the middle and here it is in the top view side view and end views that we've been looking at in the previous tutorial on orthographic projection but now what we've got is a side view or the front view as it's known and we've got this cutting line right here so this is cutting line for section AA which means if we took this part cut it in half and then looked at it looking up this way this is what we would see here so everything is the shaft and this is all solid straight through here are the two holes now I've still got these lines in because since I'm looking at it this would be the very top of the arc just picture it going like this and then this is the end part here that is once again solid. So that's a quick look at how a section view works. And then the hatch is a single object using the hatch command. And this particular pattern indicates that this part is made out of steel. So what I want to do next is look at my drawing and see. Okay, well here's another section that's uh, been required, section BB. And so what I need to do is figure out, okay, if I cut this part in half and look this way, what am I going to see? So it turns out that I've already got it drawn for the most part here. So what I can do is I can just copy this area here, bring it down, and I'm just using my orthographic setting here my polar tracking and why that is is because say if I have to stretch these say to make it shorter I can do them both at the same time and of course I could do all four of them but we're not going to do that so now what I have to do is look at this section here and what I'm seeing is okay there's another line here so I just need to bring this down and trim it off and since we're cutting straight through a solid piece here I don't need this line in the middle so what I've got here is this part and this is the area everything from this line over is actually not going to be cut it's just in the background so what I need to do is start my hatch command. So I'll pick here and I'll go into my properties. And as you can see, my scale's a little off. So I'll try a scale of about 12 and that looks pretty good. And my pattern is here. I could go solid gradient or whatever, but here I can select my pattern and I'm just going to scroll down and find the same steel right there and there's my part and then what I can do also is just go match MA enter and then pick that one and then it's the same hatch so there's my section BB and I can just copy my text down There we go. And there's B, B. So there's one section done. And now I've got one other one, this is section C, C, and this is going through it this way. And so that's basically the same as if I'm cutting it right along here and looking the other way which means this part 
would be on the right hand side. So all I need to do is just mirror this, call this section C dash C, and we're done. So now you can see that there's quite a few different ways of doing your sectional views. And a lot of it's just going to be based upon your orthographic views and then modifying them. Now in uh, more advanced drawings, you might get this put in on a separate layer right on top of the other so that you can then work with the same views, modify the parts all in one piece. And later as you get into 3D work, you'll find there are even more tools for creating orthographic projection, sectional views, and isometric views. If you look on the website for the AutoCAD 2012 tutorials for the view base command, that will give you an idea of how that works. But this is just a quick look at section views. We've got just simple parts. They can get very complex, but this tutorial is just an introduction. So thanks for watching. This has been MyCADSite.com.